Hey, everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so you get over all of our content right here at SportsMap H-O-E-U. And, Lance, a lot of debate about uh, Trevor Bauer's suspension, two years, and whether or not it relates to Deshaun Watson. You've talked about it on the show. Cody Stutes made the point on the wheelhouse that the cases are not that different because both are based around questions of consent. Rusty Harden says they're totally, totally different situations. You agree with Rusty or Cody? Actually, I think there's – I think there's – no, probably more Cody. Um, you know, I understand that one involves um, what started, it appears as though started as consensual sex that went in one person's estimation or in the, the women's estimation went beyond the expected. Uh, Trevor Bauer was not charged with anything when all the research, when all the, uh, you know, the investigation was done. But it's still, it's still a, sexual misconduct slash violence against women. There still is an issue or a concern there that major league that concerns major league baseball greatly. I'd say the same thing is true for Deshaun Watson. It may not be in the same exact bucket, but I think it's in the same zip code, the same area code. So yeah, I think there's I think I think it's gonna fall under the same the same general category. And that's the concern for for team Deshaun Watson, whether it's his friends, his agent um, Cleveland Browns, Browns fans. I think the concern for you is that it falls under the same general bucket in the same category that uh, Major League Baseball punished uh, um, Trevor Bauer for. I think the big difference here, though, John, that you and I have talked about for a while is that Trevor Bauer was not liked by his own teammates in in L.A. with the Dodgers. They came out and they did not have his back at any point. Um, Texans players – in general, if you looked around, had Deshaun's back, but of course, you know it's that all broke when the pandemic was starting. So it's yeah. it was it, it was a very very different time. But now he's you know his teammates all seem to be on board with him. We haven't heard any Cleveland Browns guys come out and say anything negative. Um, I think the big difference is the Browns want Deshaun Watson. I don't even think the Dodgers wanted Trevor no, Bauer, so I, it kind of yeah. made it easier to me. Uh, he'll never pitch for the Dodgers again, ever. I mean, they don't, they don't want – and it'll be interesting to see if any major league team picks up. Because the details were so graphic, right? I mean, we saw and we, we, we heard, we saw the pictures of the girl with the – we're going to hear on Real Sports – the graphic dis- uh, depictions of what went on with Deshaun Watson. I think that is really, really going to sway public opinion. We saw once Ray Rice, the video came out, it changed everything, right? It changed the, it, it changed his his punishment as well. And so I think this is this tonight and going forward, if the if if this goes to court, if we hear these women's the the, the description of what Deshaun did uh, on the stand in testimony, I think it's going to go a long way toward Deshaun Watson, uh, his punishment, and it's not going to be good for him. I don't think anything that's going to happen tonight is going to matter, and here's why: uh, NFL's already talked to all of those women. They have interviewed them all. So I don't think what real sports does is going to have any impact personally on what I the think NFL it'll have done. a big impact on public opinion. What does that and matter? that changes that will change the NFL's look at it. You think so? Yep. Because I wonder how much public opinion matters at all. Uh, I think it's already been factored. It's already being factored. I don't know that it has to be factored anymore. I'll tell you, we're in Houston, so I'm not sure we always uh, get the complete lens. But outside of the city of Houston, when the Deshaun Watson came down where he was be- he's going to be no build and then he got the big contract – there was some real disgust out there uh, from people on social media, from writers, from women who are in the sports uh, industry, from former athletes, uh, some some guys who played in Cleveland, Jim Tomei, Joe Thomas. I, I, I think both of them had some issues. I know certainly Jim Tomei's wife came out publicly and made some comments well. uh, that spoke for both of those. Uh, for her and her her husband, so I I don't know, John. I think the public perception was already pretty bad about the show. Well, it's gonna it's gonna get worse every single time something. Yeah, comes I, out. I agree. Yeah. I just don't know that it's gonna affect the NFL more than Bauer. I think that's the one that's gonna be interesting. Is does the Bauer punishment? Which one do you think has a bigger effect? The public perception after real sports, uh, which is only gonna be seen by a certain amount of people, or 
what Major League Baseball did with Trevor Bauer. It's only going to be seen by a, so, a certain amount of people, but then there are going to be writers that write about it afterwards as well. And they're going to be disgusted with the Cleveland Browns. They're going to be disgusted with Deshaun. They're going to be disgusted with the whole situation. So that will spawn more than just because of their testimony, what they're going to say tonight on Real Sports. It's going to spur more conversation about it, which won't be good uh, for Deshaun. I think this Real Sports thing has a possibility uh, because – because you know Trevor Power is like 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 Hardy, Rusty Harden said, it's totally different. That's baseball. This is not us. But you're right. Uh, the 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 NFL and Roger Goodell is going to look over there and say, look at in in, in writers are going to say, look what baseball is doing against domestic violence, and look look what football is doing against domestic violence. So that that I, I, it's interesting. That's an interesting question. We'll have to see what happens tonight first on Real Sports. How about all of this on the impact of the Texans draft? I know it's not important. It's not important. But hopefully, I don't want Deshaun to sit the whole year. I do, because that's an earlier pick. <laughs> that's an earlier <laughs> so It's real simple. Right, sit you. as long as you can yeah. for as – sit two years. Better don't, draft picks. Don't, they don't even need you anymore. <laughs> I'm a pragmatist now. I'm, I'm a simple man, Jack. I like high draft picks. Yeah, so Baker Mayfield, back at quarterback for the Cleveland Browns this year. And th- you know what? He, he got him to the playoffs, Lance. I'm a little worried about Baker leading him back to a nice season this year. That, that will be how uh, – that's where hard knocks should be. That if, if Baker's going to be in camp, hey, if they can't get rid of him yeah, and I Deshaun know. gets suspended for the year, should have dual hard that's, knocks. The, that's the camp I want to see. Dual hard knocks. You can do both. You but, can do both. Uh, here's a quick question before we end this one. Mike Florio believes there's a chance that we could see a Deshaun Watson decision come down as a as a Friday day, uh, you know day, news dump, uh, but on, headed on the way into the weekend. He thinks it could come as early as this week, maybe as early as next week. Over under, I'll say six and a half games. Since six seems to be the magic number, I'm yeah. going to force you into a decision. Six if they're under or more. Well, if Sean it is Watson. six and a half games, I, I, I the, the NFL smart to do it on a news dump day, like a Friday afternoon, where we won't get till Monday morning to talk about it. If it's going to be extensive, they should do it on Monday morning first thing, so that the whole world can applaud them for how they're treating this. Yeah, thing. probably so. Yeah, that that's how that's how the NFL should approach it. <laughs> 